Hey everybody, this is Kelly Price and you're watching me on The Boombox. The title of the new project, Sing, Pray, Love, um, was inspired by the movie Eat, Pray, Love. I watched the movie. Like everybody else that saw it, I cried in all the right places. And I might have cried even when you weren't supposed to cry. Um, I began working on the songs um, for Sing, Pray, Love, probably not even realizing that I was doing it, just writing music shortly before my 40th birthday. I turned 40 last year and maybe a few months before my birthday, um, just got this kind of overwhelming feeling. I kind of had the same experience that Julia Roberts had. You know, you get to a point in life and you think about everything you've done, how you've played by the rules, how there are things that you wanted to do and you felt like, no, maybe I couldn't. And um, you just decide that you're ready to live while you're alive and not have a bunch of shoulda, coulda, wouldas. And so um, Sing, Pray, Love comes from that. The collection of songs really is a story that's told from the opening interlude all the way until the last song, which is called Metamorphosis. So that's a bit telling in and of itself. Um, but it's happy. It's happy. Even um, the sad love songs have a happy tone to them. Like, it's over, but I'm not mad. <laughs> Well, I was a cast member on R&B Divas LA and the first season was a very interesting season. I think that going in, I thought I knew what reality television was and I learned very quickly that I don't know or I did not know at that point what reality TV is. Um, I understand it a lot better now, so I won't do that show again. But I wouldn't say no to reality television because at this point, if I ever did it again, I would know what the possibilities are. You can never know exactly what's gonna happen, but I absolutely know the dynamics of the way the shows are made now. First of all, I have to say, um, it was a big, huge deal for me to do a song like It's My Time and even make it a single because I've always been known as this girl that comes out with these big ballads and these big power ballads and that's what I've been known for. I've never had a single that was an up-tempo. Um, but the song was really undeniable and it speaks to the overall message of Sing, Pray, Love. I feel like that I am in the best time of my life. Um, I'm too old to be young and dumb, not doing the same stupid stuff that I was doing at 20 and 25, but I'm still young enough to really appreciate and enjoy everything about life. There's so much life left to live and I'm doing it with knowledge of what not to do anymore and even knowledge of what to do to make it better. And so that's what It's My Time is about. No more waiting, no more putting things on hold. We're going for it. I'm not making a bucket list. I'm making a get it done list. Um, and here's hoping I can get it done more than once. And I'm excited about it and really encouraging other people to do the same thing. I think people think that you, you've got to win the lottery and that certain things only happen to people because they're lucky. But most successful people plan for their success. And really the message in, in, in it, It's My Time is to say, um, you're gonna win because you've now decided that you're not gonna lose. Losing is no longer an option. So plan for success, plan to be happy, plan for it to be your time, plan to go back to school, plan to lose the 20 pounds, plan, plan for it and then do it. It's your time. Yes, um, I lost my sister on Easter Sunday, actually. So it's very new um, and it is a day by day process. I have to honestly say that aside from having my family with me, that um, the fans have been incredible. It's not something that I necessarily publicized. I did talk about it a little bit on uh, my Twitter and my, my Facebook page, but also knowing that my sister has young children that she left behind. I don't want that to be a matter of exploitation for them, but the fans have shown so much love for the ones that do remember my sister because she actually um, did a couple of gigs when I was a background singer for Mariah and we brought in extra singers. My, my baby sister came in and did a couple of those engagements and so some of them remember her from there. Um, but even for the ones that didn't, they have encouraged me most ironically with the use of my own songs. 